like all living organisms, the cells in a plant are also grouped into various tissues. Permanent plant tissue is a group of cells which are complete in growth and usually incapable of meristematic activity. Permanent plant tissue is of two types. Simple permanent tissues and complex permanent tissues. Complex permanent tissues are a group of more than one type of cells that have a common origin and work together as a unit. There are two types of complex permanent tissues in plants, xylem and phloem. Xylem performs the function of conduction of water and minerals from the roots to the stem and leaves. It also provides mechanical strength to the plant. Xylem consists of four different types of cells. Tracheids, vessels, xylem fibers and xylem parenchyma. Tracheids are elongated, angular, lignified cells with tapering ends. They are dead and without any proptoplasm. The inner layers of the cell walls and tracheids vary in thickness. Vessels are long, tube-like structures composed of many cells called vessel members. Vessel members have lignified walls and a large central cavity. They are interconnected through perforations in their common walls. Typically, vessels are found in all angiosperms and vessel cells do not have protoplasm. Xylem fibers are sclerenchymatous fibers associated with the xylem. They have highly thickened walls and obliterated central lumens. These may be septate or aseptate. Xylem parenchyma is composed of parenchymatous cells. They are living and thin-walled with cell walls made up of cellulose. These cells store food material as starch or fat or substances such as tannin. Some xylem cells are arranged in the form of a ray through which radial conduction of water takes place. These cells are known as xylem ray parenchymatous cells. They are produced from the differentiation of vascular cambium. We'll now learn about primary xylem, which consists of the young cells produced from meristematic tissues by the differentiation process. Primary xylem is of two types, protoxylem and metaxylem. The primary xylem elements formed in the beginning of a plant's life are known as protoxylem. On the other hand, the primary xylem elements formed in the later stages are known as metaxylem. The arrangements of primary xylem are endarch and exarch. In the stem, the protoxylem lies towards the center or pith and the metaxylem lies towards the periphery of the stem. This arrangement of primary xylem is called endarch. Let's talk about the roots now. Here, the protoxylem lies towards the periphery and the metaxylem lies towards the center. This arrangement of primary xylem is known as exarch. The second complex permanent tissue that transports food materials from the leaves to the other parts is known as phloem. In angiosperms, the phloem consists of sieve tube elements, companion cells, phloem parenchyma, 
and phloem fibers. Sieve tube elements are tube-like structures that are arranged in a longitudinal manner. They are closely associated with companion cells, which are parenchymatous in nature. The end walls of sieve tube elements are perforated in a sieve-like manner and form sieve plates. The functions of sieve tubes are controlled by the nucleus of the companion cells. The sieve tube elements and companion cells are connected by pit fields present between their common longitudinal walls. The companion cells also help in maintaining the pressure gradient in the sieve tubes. Phloem parenchyma stores food material and other substances like resins, latex, and mucilage. It consists of elongated, tapering cylindrical cells that have dense cytoplasm and nucleus. The cell wall of phloem parenchyma is made up of cellulose. It has pits through which plasmodesmatal connections exist between the cells. Phloem fibers or bast fibers are made up of sclerenchymatous cells found in secondary phloem. They are elongated, unbranched with pointed apices, and their cell wall is quite thick. On maturity, phloem fibers lose their protoplasm and become dead. Jute, flax, and hemp are some examples of commercially used phloem fibers. Complex permanent tissues are engaged in the transportation of water, minerals, nutrients, and organic substances. Therefore, they are extremely essential for the survival of plants.